Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Let's jump on and talk about tuples. Okay, this is something we did not discuss in our data types yet, and we need to cover this concept. So, remember when we had lists, and you can add things to lists and delete things from lists, and lists are super nice. <clears throat> so, you know, list would be something like uh, groceries, and if you said, okay, let me turn on this one thing so it does not keep bothering you guys mm, okay all right there we go now remember list was like groceries and you might have a banana and apple <laughs> groceries that's funny mm, apricot okay well the tuples you can use them a very similar way you could have let's let's make it something that you can't change for example or you know um, social security numbers I mean you could use whatever you want but I just wanted to use this one and it could be some number here it could be another number right there and then another number right here okay so this here is actually called a tuple why is it called that Nobody knows, but it's wrapped in parentheses. And the main difference between a list and a tuple is that you can add things to a list and delete things from a list, but to a tuple, you can't change it. You can't add things to a tuple or take things out from a tuple. So that's really the key difference. I'm going to go down here. and show you okay groceries we can do dot append um cheese cheese okay and if i print out groceries here okay and you'll see the results at the oh oops, <laughs> this ran a different file you can see the results right there it says apricot banana apple and cheese because i just added cheese to it and it shows that you don't have a method like dot append for tuples so you can you can do that for them okay this was just a very basic example of this why would you need to use a tuple well if you were working with data that you really never want changed like maybe you were storing people's passwords you never want to um, you, you want to store them like this because maybe that's something you might now want to change right or at least you might want to make it really difficult for people to change even people who are programming those websites for you or if you're programming a website like that yourself just really quickly let me show you where you can actually find this code so I'm going to actually push this code up for you guys okay uh, let's see here uh, add learn oops Python So you guys can actually go to github.com, okay? And look up my username, so maybe a clever programmer. And one thing you can do is go to users and follow me, okay? Um, but if you can't follow me, just look for a clever programmer underscore stuff, this repository. Go to this repository right here, and you will see Learn Python, okay? There's the link. If you want to go directly, github.com slash clever programmer slash clever programmer underscore stuff. And in there, you'll see something called Learn Python. Go in there, click tuples, and you can actually see the code right there. And that's where I will, let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better. This is where I will try to add the code for you guys from here on out. And you guys can just go ahead and check everything right on there. Okay, hopefully that clarifies everything. All right. That's it. In the next video, perhaps we're going to cover a little bit more about mutable versus immutable data types. So I'll see you guys there.